Hello and welcome back to Centerline Construction Chat. I'm Jeff Satterwhite with Centerline Development and this is the BRIC series of our, of our Construction Chat topics. First of all, I'd like to start with the Mason's line of how they lay the brick. This is actually a, a tight cotton string that uses these little end blocks to put on the corner boards to actually lay the brick in a straight line. So they use this string with these corner blocks against the corner board to actually set up and they move those up for each, each course of brick. If you look right here, this is a type of mortar. If you notice that this is N type, N has to do with the strength of the actual cement in the actual mortar mix. So N we use for laying veneer and for steps. Um, if you're laying a foundation, we use an S type mortar, which has a stronger content of cement, so it's a stronger bond. With the reason we use the end is on brick veneer is because it's easier to clean and you're not required to have the level of strength that you would for a structural material like a foundation. Okay, these items right here are is the mason's trial and also the mason's hammer. So they would use these particular tools, especially this one, like to break the to break the brick in half in case they're putting like a half piece of brick in. Um, this particular tool, the trial is used to clean off the mortar and also take the mortar from the pan and put on the actual bond joint. So they would lay, use the trial to take the mud and lay it actually on the brick and then set the brick in the, in the actual brick mud to uh, create the seam or the mortar joint. If you look right here, um, this is actually an Oyster Bay brick um, and it's a, a white sand finished brick. Um, this right here is the actual type of sand. So in order to make a, the mortar, which is this material here, you take sand, you take water, and you also take this mortar mix and you mix those together in a machine and it comes out in kind of like a, a, a thick mud material. And they would use that to bond the brick together. This particular brick here is, is an oversized brick. They make two types of brick. There's a modular brick, which is a smaller brick and then there's an oversized brick. So oversized means they're a little bit fatter and a little bit longer. So if you have three brick high like this, if it was a modular brick, three brick high would equal one brick on end. But since this is an oversized brick, they do not match up. The, the height is more. So the height of the, the oversized brick, three stacked high, is a little bit taller than one on end. That, that, that's what makes the brick oversized. Um, the reason we used oversized, they're a little bit more difficult to lay, but in a residential application, they have a little bit better presentation and they're a little bit, they stand out a little bit more. Um, modular is also used in residential, but mostly it's used in commercial. Um, thank you for joining me, Jeff Satterwhite with Centerline Construction Chat. Please log on to www.ghostcenterline.com or call us at 910-776-0044 if you have any questions. Thank you and look forward to talking to you soon.